Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. This is Tina Marie. Happy Thanksgiving. And if you guys like my sweater, I got this in uh, Sheen and I'll be posting a link below. If not, you could see my video and I'm going to be linking that below where I reviewed this sweater and other ones also. But today I am going to be reviewing fragrance and I know it's been a while since I've done that and it's kind of exciting because I love fragrance and you guys know that because that is the like first type of videos I was doing before it was all about fragrance and then I got into makeup and then now I'm back again here just doing a quick review of a fragrance that was just released a week ago so I am talking about no other than Kayali's Young Bougie Marshmallow 81 fragrance this is their new release and I got the small one because I am collecting a ton of small things uh Huda Beauty and Kayali are releasing mini uh perfumes like this one and a smaller one that goes like this and huda beauty is releasing the tiny foundations and i got so many mini stuff right here that i you know want to collect for traveling and i'm going to show you really quick what i have i have the dior plumping maximizing lip gloss and then i have ysl lipstick and you know it's just cute to have like minis when you want to like go out put this in your purse you don't want your purse to be all filled or if you're traveling so enough of that now i'm going to be talking about this wonderful fragrance because i've been using this quite a lot and i'm going to read the notes first before i get into my impression of this fragrance okay so i am here with the notes it says the keynotes are Freesia, strawberry, pink marshmallow, coconut, with vanilla, pink musk. And that's pretty it. Um, it's pretty simple. It's linear. Uh, but I do like how it smells. And I'm going to get a tester strip so we can talk about my impression of how it projects and how the notes uh, perform. All right. So I got my tester strips. And I'm just going to open the packaging. I know that they did change the packaging of the box just because they thought it was easier to ship um it would be less time to be able to wait for production of the fragrances and have more restock uh also it's more um just economical too to just have this type of packaging because the other one it did take a long time and a and other like um type of strategy to make it you know like because it was like a hexagon or an oxagon i don't remember the shape but it was just very beautiful kind of like a diamond and it was just gorgeous and um and a lot of people were like upset about it but for me i'm okay with it because you know what what's most important it's what's inside of the box and enough rambling because i do want to open this up and show you guys the cute bottle because i did change the packaging of the bottle and let me show you really quick so she did change the bottle to more of the frosted um color it's like a frosted pink and she wants her minis to be a resemblance of the big one and so that changed and it's not transparent like the young pistachio gelato and compared to the big one it's not different this one is the same as the big one so it's really cute and let me show you the bag i did use a lot of it <laughs> lately and what i like about this is frosted and it kind of reminds me of the notes especially the marshmallow marshmallows tend to be that opaque uh color so i'm gonna show you guys how this smells in the tester strip so i'm just gonna spray it and i love the atomizer i love how it just sprays so evenly to which is really nice and right off the bat i get that strawberry but that strawberry that sugary filled with whipped cream and it's just very gourmand it's very yummy and then all of a sudden when it starts to dry down i get that marshmallow scent that powdery marshmallow sugary fluffy scent that i find very like yummy and very sophisticated and very mysterious as well this kind of also resembles the marshmallow from the yum pistachio gelato which i find pretty interesting because she did um have like a little bit of hints of that uh fragrance in one of her videos where she would bring out her yum pistachio gelato and she would put it inside the 
um, I guess it was like a mixer and she would put it in there with a bunch of marshmallows and strawberries and it kind of like gave us a hint of what she was trying to tell us of the notes yet I find it uh, very intriguing how she uses that same note of the marshmallow yet it smells completely different in the sense of like having the strawberry and having that sugary vibe alongside with that marshmallow note and so I'm going to read the notes while I'm smelling it so I can tell you what is uh, projecting more in this fragrance. So I don't smell the freesia at all. I do smell the strawberry. I do smell the pink marshmallow. The coconut is not very prominent. I feel like it might be that powdery, uh, creamy, lactonic scent that I'm getting from here. But I don't get that true coconut um sunscreen vibe in here it's nothing like that it's more of that very powdery and lactonic scent of a coconut then i have um the whipped cream that i do smell too that's what i'm getting also of that sugary creamy and marshmallowy scent too as well i feel like it's mixing in very well with the pink marshmallow the coconut and the whipped vanilla it's just Oh, like amazing and then the pink musk I don't smell it at all and I think it's just there to hold the fragrance together as one and make it project longer because when I wear this throughout the day it lasts pretty long because I would spray it on a sweater and then it would last three days on my sweater and I find that you know very intriguing because it seems like it's pretty airy but at the same time, like the uh, longevity of this is uh, five to six hours. And that's only if you have it on your body. But if you have it on a sweater, I feel like it lasts three days. Now, the projection, um, like the sillage per se, it's not very strong. It is um, um, like mild and moderate, mild to moderate, um, if that makes any sense. But yeah, but still, I like it because I feel like it's very inviting. I feel like you could wear this as a signature scent because I feel like you could wear this day and night and it would just do well in any occasions. And that's what I did for Thanksgiving. But I've been doing that every day because look, I have a big dent. And I do want to talk about that this kind of reminded me of a fragrance that I have when I read the notes of um, Kayali's Yum Bougie Marshmallow, I was like, this must smell so much like Latafa Yara for women. Uh, just because, you know, that one had similar vibes of having that sugary marshmallow, strawberry, and airy type of feel. Uh, but it doesn't have the same notes at all, which is pretty surprising. And I'm going to spray it on this tester strip. And then we're going to um, talk about the notes that I have here online. So this is how it looks like. So this one's really big. This is the uh, 3.4 ounce. And this is the mini. I can't really see the size. But I'm going to check right here on the box to see if I could see it. So it says right here, this is the uh, 0.34 fluid ounce, which is 10 mils. And so the big one, I know it's like $130 plus dollars without tax. And this one's like around 4 $40 plus for the big one. So um, I'm going to talk about that towards the end. But I'm going to spray it right here on my tester strip. And we're going to do some comparisons now. Okay, this one from Yara. It's much more citrus. It's much more airy at the beginning. It smells like, like red fruits. I'm getting that strawberry. But then the dry down, it starts to get powdery, but ever so slightly and kind of aquatic at the same time. And then I get this floral scent towards the end as well, but it's kind of like a whisper, you know, it's not very in your face. It's not anything like that where that type of fragrance where you feel like the floral is just straightforward. This one's not. This one kind of like sits in the back with all the notes. But then this one from Kayali, 
is a true gourmand. And even if it has the same type of vibe as the Yara, um, this one from Kiali is powdery. It's much more lactonic and more fruity. It's just like a true gourmand, you know? So now I'm going to read the notes of the Yara for Women, the pink one right here. And I'm going to look for the notes online that I have. So let's see if I can find it. And I'll be right back. All right. So this one was released before. So this would not be a dupe for the, um, what's it called? The Yum Bougie Marshmallow. So it wouldn't be like a dupe for that. It's the other way around because this one was released uh, earlier. But it says right here, the notes um, are orchid, heliotrope, tangerine, um, has um, gourmand accord, tropical fruits, vanilla musk, and sandalwood. As you can see, it's not very similar, but it smells similar um, in the beginning and towards the end. It smells a tad different. Like I said, it smells a little airy, a little bit floral, but not too floral where it seems like that's all you smell. It just seems like it's just a part of the fragrance. And here in Fragantica, it's saying that these two are similar. So I do find that they are similar, even in color and inspiration. Yet I feel like this one's a true gourmand. This one's a little bit more airy and more... A tad more floral and then now for my last comparison this was compared also in Fragantica and this is the Bath and Body Works strawberry pound cake yet um, here I feel like it's much more it has like an artificial strawberry scent um, it's not very like realistic like the Kaolis yeah this one seems like it's more like the artificial strawberry but yet I could smell the pound cake scent. It's gourmand. But I feel like the lactonic note in here, it's just overpowering over the strawberry and the pound cake note in here. So this one is the most um, gourmand out of all of them. But I also feel like it's more youthful and it's not sophisticated. I feel like this one's more like a little playful yet for the young crowd. And it says right here, the notes are a uh, fresh strawberry, golden shortcake, and whipped cream. And I am getting that heavy whipped cream in the beginning alongside with the shortbread or shortcake and a little bit of the strawberry. But like I said, I feel like maybe this would be perfect for layering for either or Yara's and um, Latafa's, I mean Latafa's. Yeah, from uh, Yara Latafa and Kayali's uh, Yum Bougie Marshmallow. I feel like you can layer these. Um, yeah, I find this one to be the most sophisticated fragrance. It does have a lot of body to it, a lot of uh, sophistication, and it's a little bit more complex than the other fragrances. I feel like this one lasts a long time on my sweater. I can't put it on my skin because um, I have my own autoimmune disease and I talked about that in another video. So I can't use fragrance directly to my skin anymore. But um, when my daughter uses it, I know that the longevity is around five to six hours and um, in clothes, it lasts much longer. So if you wanna do that, you could try it. But this one I love and it's sophisticated and it's very just like rich gourmand. So yeah, so that's pretty much my review i hope you guys enjoyed and stay posted for my next video because i am going to be talking about uh the mario's new palette the ethereal eyes moonlight which i'm wearing today as you can see um i just kind of like that um eyeshadow palette because the color scheme is just beautiful so yeah so stay posted for that and don't forget to subscribe and watch my shorts and also follow me on instagram as uh, Marie dot the artist. So thank you guys. Bye bye and happy holidays.